Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 5.4 in our 4th grade Florida Go math book. Lesson 5.4 is about factors and multiples and how they are related. So if you look right here, this picture pretty much sums it all up really quick. That, And it basically tells us that the factors in a multiplication sentence, so the factors will be 3 and 4, are multiples of, or the product is multiples of the factors. So, if our product is 12, then that means that 12 is a multiple of 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, and it's also a multiple of 4, 4, 8, 12. So that is how they're related. They are related because the the product is a multiple of the factors. So let me show you what that means in word problems. So here we say toy animals are sold in sets of 3, 5, 10, and 12. So you go to the store and you can pick out a package of toy animals. One of the packages has 3 in it, one of them has 5 in it, one of them has 10 in it, and one of them has 12 in it. Mason wants to make a display with 3 animals in each row. So which one of those sets could he buy if he wants to display all of the animals? So he has to choose out of these sets which ones could make rows of three. So our first way that they say we can answer that is to tell whether three is a factor of each of those numbers. So is three a factor of three? Yes, it is. Because three divided by three works. The second one, is 3 a factor of 5? No, because when we count by 3's we never say 5, so he can't use a set of 5. The next one is, is 3 a factor of 10? No, 3 is not a factor of 10. You can't do 3 times something and get 10. And is 3 a factor of 12? Yes, it is, because we say 12 when we're counting by 3's. So there's only two that he could actually buy if he wants to put take the animals out and put them in rows of three. He could buy the set that has three animals in it, and he could buy the set that has 12 animals in it. So uh, that's the first way. Just ask yourself, is, is three a factor of each of those numbers? Or... You could just list the multiples of 3 and see if you say those numbers, 3, 5, 10, and 12. So, you would make a list. It would be 3, 6, 9, 12, oops, that's a messy 12, 12, 15, and so on and so on. So now that we look at our list of multiples of 3 and we look back up here at our choices, we do see that we say 3. So that's a yes, but we do not say 5, we do not say 10, and we do see that we say 12. So he could choose the set of 3 and 12 because 3 and 12 are multiples of 3. He could buy the sets of 3 and 12. So just to recap really quick, how are factors and multiples related? Well, the product is a multiple of the factors. In other words, this product of 12, I'm going to say 12 when I'm counting by 3's and when I'm counting by 4's. So that is how factors and multiples are related. So then the other part of this lesson is talking about common multiples. And we've already done common factors we just list all the factors of the numbers and see which ones they have in common. Same thing for multiples. You just list all the multiples of the number and see which ones they have in common. So, for example, if it's asking us what are the common multiples of 3 and 4, you're just going to list the multiples. So, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15... 18, 
And it will go so on and so on, but you don't have to go forever. It'll tell you how many to do. And then you list the factors of 4. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and on and on and on. So now I have the multiples written out of 3 and the multiples written out of 4. Then I just look and see which ones they have in common. The only ones that I see they have in common here in our lists are 12. So the common multiples of 3 and 4 are 12. Okay, so that is common multiples and how are factors and multiples related. And if you are in my class, I would like you to write down the password truck in your planner to let me know you watched this video. And if you have any questions, just feel free to leave me a message. Thanks.